Hi guys, so Cassidy and I are gonna do a little bit of a talking segment about who we are and why we bought a fire truck to be our full-time home. She is on her way here right now. We're gonna sit down and give you some details, but first, let me introduce you. I'm Jay. And I'm Cassidy. And we are turning a fire truck into a tiny house. The two most common questions we've been asked are why a tiny house and why a fire truck? Living in a tiny house gives us the ability to focus all of our time, all of our energy, all of our resources on whatever it is that we want most. And for us, that's traveling to find new experiences and new places. And to live the way that we want requires very few material things and at the same time allows us to do what we love. It also allows me to further my career as an adventure photographer. If you're interested in seeing some of my photography, I've linked my Instagram in the description below. You can go check that out. As for the other question, why a fire truck? When we had first started talking about all of this, we had considered like maybe a pop-up camper or a van conversion. There's a lot of really cool van conversions out there. Most people ask us, why not get an RV? And the simple answer for why not just buy an RV or convert a van like other people have done is that we would like to be off-road and off-grid and way out in the wild as often as possible and it's really difficult to find an RV or a sprinter van that can do that either difficult or really expensive it's still a lot of work but at the end of the day it's a lot less expensive to take a truck that can already do whatever it is that you want and make a house out of it as opposed to the other way around and then we found this truck on a government liquidation website and two weeks later I was on a plane flying to Oregon to pick it up and drive it back to Florida so we could get to work making it into a house. The truck itself is a 1995 F450. It's a Thule. It's a four-wheel drive and it has a low mileage 7.3 liter turbo diesel which is pretty much the best thing that Ford has ever done. The truck is a beast and definitely capable of going anywhere that we want to go. The first thing that we did was cut apart the inside to make space for a house. So let's get you caught up on all the destruction that goes into that. Okay, so if you want to know our plans, right here, right here, we're going to have a little closet for shirts and big coats or small coats and our shoes and whatnot. And then we're going to have a bed all across here slash pull out couch. That way we can either sit or we can sleep. And then we can also open these doors in the morning and look at all the snow outside or the waterfall, whatever. Up here is going to be a refrigerator that's bolted up to the roof. And right below is gonna be another storage space right here that you can access outside. And right here is our door that we can access the cab. And then right across is going to be our shower space. And we're gonna have a detachable head up here. So that way if we wanna shower, outside too. We can do that. We're also hiding the toilet in here. And then in the kitchen space, this is going to be our kitchen counter. A little cutout for a wood furnace and a little two burner stove over here. And our coffee mugs bolted up there because those are important. Then above we're going to have more storage space. The video should have something for everybody. If you like projects and mechanics, there's tons of wiring and welding and fabricating happening on this thing. Or if you just want to follow along with the story and the adventure and the photography, your support is very much appreciated. And the channel won't end once the fire truck is done. After we're finished with it and we go straight to Alaska and all the places in between, we're going to be making these cinematic travel videos of the places that we go. So stick around for that. Thank you guys for watching and let us know if you like this video. And we'll see you later.